Progress Singapore Party Chief Tan Chen Bok plans to draw on the community spirit in West Coast GRC to create solutions and help residents get through tough times. The party also outlined its plans for the ward, such as offering town council jobs to residents and creating a community of local SMEs. And we need to recover all together. We must now adapt to new ways of working and living, new solutions. We need to think out of the box, not more of the same top-down approach practiced by the PAP, where the government tells you what to do and expects you to follow without questioning. Instead, we can rekindle the West Coast spirit where solutions come from ground up. So what is your vision for West Coast? Come share them with us and together we make our dreams for West Coast and Singapore become a reality. PSP also urged West Coast residents to vote with no fear as the PAP is still going to form the next government. Instead, it said voters should worry about the opposition being wiped out and no one in Parliament to fight for them on issues like jobs and the use of national reserves. The government has committed $93 billion to tackle the pandemic. But these funds must be used responsibly and in a targeted manner to help Singaporeans. For example, nearly 100 million worth of wage subsidies were returned by companies because they did not need them. We need greater transparency and accountability on how these reserves are spent. To have a credible and strong alternative front, we need at least one third of the contested seats in Parliament, and that is 32 seats. As there's absolutely no fear that the PAP will be voted out of power, you can actually get the best of both worlds, a strong PAP government and a strong alternative voice. Don't shortchange yourself. You deserve better. Vote for us. Vote for Progress Singapore Party.